WYCC members help to bring all kinds of fantastic programming to you, including this conversation with mystery writer Mary Carter. Mary, all right, let's talk a little bit about the plot of murder in an Irish village. <laughs> who's, our, who's our protagonist? Who's our main character? Right, our main character is Siobhan O'Sullivan. And when this series opens, she's 22 years old. Um, she's a beautiful, tall girl with long red hair. And she's just about to go off to college when the backstory is her parents were killed in a car accident. And now she is left with sole responsibility of five siblings and a family bistro to run. Wow. So instead of going to college, she's kind of forced to stay back home, uh, the pull between family and going off as a young person. Probably something that each of us within ourselves struggle with or have to deal with at some point, the inner struggles of family and moving on or staying back home. Absolutely, and for her personality too, like she really wanted to get out. Small town is a little bit too stifling for her, and that's why when mysteries start happening, she's the perfect person to solve them because she has all this energy, um, dreams that she can't fulfill that she kind of can funnel into investigating now. All right, let's talk a little bit about you obviously were in this particular county when you were researching. Did you spend a lot of time writing there as well, or did you bring what you had back home and write in the States? The mystery was conceived actually after the visit, although while I was there, I would always take notes. I was writing on a Mary Carter book set in Ireland, which is not a mystery, but still the same location. And so it is a real town, although I've fictionalized it in the novel, but it's a beautiful town. And they have, it's one of the few towns in Ireland that has one of the original medieval walls. So it was a walled town. And they have an old castle and they have a Dominican priory and it's just so beautiful. I was jealous. I said, I grew up in Ohio. We had a white castle and you have a castle <laughs> <Right>. castle. <laughs> a, a legit castle. <laughs> a legit right. castle, right? <laughs> There's no hamburgers there. but uh, um, So it was just the perfect, I knew that had to be the setting. And I'm the sure the locals and the folks in town uh, love the fact that you said, well, maybe not the murder part of it, but, <laughs> but that you started, this is going to be the first in a series, that you yes. started this book there. I hope so. We'll find out. I'm going to visit for Christmas. We'll see. Um, but they're the nicest people ever. So even if they weren't happy with it, they would never let me know because Irish people are just, everybody says that. When you go to Ireland, people are so welcoming, so friendly. Um, maybe when I leave, they might say, now why did she set a book here? But I think they're all happy about it. Oh, it's wonderful. And how do you, how do you conduct research when you're doing this? Do you interview locals? Do you just immerse yourself in the culture and the customs? I, I just, I just listen. Um, I interviewed a few people, like the police, the guards in Ireland work differently than the police, obviously in America. So I did interview an Irish guard. Um, other than that, I just listen. And when people know I'm listening, sometimes they say, don't put that in the book. 